What's up guys, you're watching Vaga Brothers. Welcome back to our road trip across the north of England. In this episode, we're exploring the Lake District, climbing its highest peaks, fishing its lakes and rivers, and sampling the best of Cumbrian cuisine. Let's go. All right, well, first up, we are at Honister Pass. We're at Honister Mine, and we're gonna be doing some pretty fun stuff today. It's the last functioning slate mine in England, so we're gonna use the climbing technique of Via Ferrata to go along the face of the mountain and then into the mines. Supposedly, it could get kind of hairy up there. I think we're gonna be walking along pretty much like a tightrope over a huge crevice, so we're meeting up with Adam, and he's gonna be our guide for today. Let's do it. Mining here dates back 800 years. 800 years? 800 years. So my name's Adam and we're here to do the Via Ferrata, which is uh, Latin for the Iron Way. It's basically metal rungs that are stapled into the rock face. If you have vertigo, this is definitely not the sport for you. Let's go! You right back there, bro? I'm good, yeah. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you might know I have a massive fear of heights. And now we're looking at this bridge, which looks like a telephone wire. We're gonna have to walk on that over this valley. Yes! <laughs> this is our path right here, this one right there. No. Yeah, we're about to go down there. Oh my God. How you doing down there, bro? Uh, next section's waiting for you. Oh, wow. This is so cool. <laughs> We're literally hanging off a rock precipice, thousands of feet above the lake district. Guys, that was just the warm up, believe it or not. Here comes the grand finale. We're gonna cross the suspension bridge. This is called what? The Burma Bridge? The Burma Bridge. Yeah. Why is that? Well, it originates from Burma, from the military, for access over the large ravines there. Well, you're up first. Okay. Try not to look down. Oh, I just look down. This is the most spectacular place. I'm just standing on a little metal wire. This is nuts, check this out. So we're at the uh, tunnel entrance for climbing the mine. We're gonna walk in through this tunnel for about 300 meters into Mordor, into the depths. <laughs> Let's go for it. Yeah. You're not claustrophobic. This is crazy. Pretty incredible, guys. Right now we're inside like a cavern. This big opening. We followed what was once uh, a little railroad track, um, which they would have been using to ferry out these big slabs of slate. But I cannot imagine what it would have been like to live down here, to spend your entire life down here, to be an eight-year-old kid working in a mine like this and then living and dying here. Pretty grim existence. Apparently this is more uh, physical than what we, what we did outside. So here goes nothing. Adam, 
Thank yeah. you, man. That was so cool. <laughs> My pleasure. Well, we made it out of the caves. It's a beautiful day still, and now we're heading down to Ambleside. them come come little duckies come it has been a long extremely fun day but I've worked up an appetite. Yeah, so now we're in Ambleside, where we're gonna be staying for the night. Uh, we're gonna have dinner at the Old Stamp House. This place mm -hmm. is the former office of the romantic poet, William Wordsworth. The chefs inside are doing some really cool stuff with some local food, so let's check it out. With pleasure. Uh, we aim to provide an experience of the food and the food culture of Cumbria. So we, we use the native local ingredients and try and offer visitors to the area an experience of, of what Cumbria has to offer. Last night's dinner was so good. It's a really good way to kind of sample the uh, the region. Yeah, it was really good. So today, on the plate, we are going from Ambleside here into Grasmere and Rydal. It's our last day here in the Lake District, so we're gonna get into the heart of it and see how much we can do. Let's roll. So we just got to Rydal Mount. It's in the village of Rydal, which is right next to Ambleside. And uh, this was the home of William Wordsworth. Wordsworth was part of the Romantic poets who kind of developed in reaction to the Industrial Revolution. Although that movement brought a lot of prosperity, it also brought a lot of negative things. Dense cities, pollution, economic inequality. And so being out here in nature uh, was, was basically seen as a virtue. So we're gonna go into his house, be the curator of the museum, and find out a bit more about this fine English poet. Uh, my name is Peter Elkington, and uh, I live here at Rydal Mount, the home of William Wordsworth, where he lived for 37 years and died here. Yeah, the Romantics really like to be part of nature, and they observed nature, and looked at nature as a inspiration for some of their poetry. And Wordsworth especially loved to be even as a young boy, loved to be out walking amongst all the fells and the, the countryside of the Lake District. Here we are, walking through Wordsworth's garden. Let's see if we can be inspired ourselves and come up with some extemporaneous verse. Here, in this district, beside the lake, the beauty of nature, I shall not forsake. And in the morning, I won't have cornflake. I shall have sausage and beans because we are in England and an English breakfast me is ever so full with no greens but it's never that dull no no bacon and sausage and eggs just poached with a bit of toast you must not be poached English breakfast you inspire me with energy for the day I do believe that English breakfast is the way Okay, that's the end of our, our rhyming. To wrap things up here in the Lake District, we've come to Estway Water, where we are going to try our hand at 
fishing. We're gonna have a fly rod to try and catch some trout, and we're gonna have a spinning rod to try and catch a pike. They've been referred to as a effing great white shark of the lake. I'm picturing this starting off like the river runs through it and ending like Jaws. We're gonna hop in one of these little boats, paddle out there, and spend a bit of time on the water. While Alex has been fishing, I've been taking a page from Wordsworth, writing some verses. Oh so, really? What do you have? Oh blessed day upon the lake, though not a single fish we take, tis but the latest day that we see since dawn, feasting our eyes until the sun is gone. In the fork of the road where most turn south, we traveled north, from Celtic stones to Roman walls, from lonesome abbeys to Viking halls, from factories that once spewed smoke, to the lakes and fells, where Wordsworth wrote. And now, the end draws nigh. So brief our time, I almost cry. These two vagabonds must journey on. So don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vagabond Brothers for more travel videos every Tuesday. <laughs> In the meantime, remember to stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you guys in Liverpool and Manchester. So stay tuned. Peace.